In this video, we're going to talk about how you convert between units of inches and centimeters, and then how you convert back between units of centimeters and inches. Now, in order to convert between any two different units of measurement, we need to know a unit relationship between the two different units. So in this case, we need to know that one inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. And this relationship is known as a unit relationship. This tells us how the English unit of the inch is related to the SI unit of the centimeter. And we come up with unit relationships by physically comparing two different objects that represent length in the two different systems. So what we did was we took an object that had a length of exactly one inch and compared it to an object that had a length of exactly one centimeter. And we found that one inch was exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. Now what we do is we use the unit relationship to come up with something known as a conversion factor. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to come up with a conversion factor. And in the next video, I'll talk a little bit more about why we come up with units of conversion factors. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a conversion factor so that I can convert 70 inches over to units of centimeters. So I need to come up with a conversion factor that takes me from units of inches to centimeters. Now in order to do that, I'm going to divide both sides of this relationship, or if you want to call it an equation, by one inch. What you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. And what you should see is any number divided by itself is going to equal the number one. So one inch divided by one inch works out to be the number one. And so we can now rewrite this relationship as the number one equals 2.54 centimeters divided by one inch. Now in mathematics, the one thing that we can do to any number without changing that number is multiply it by one. So conversion factors are really equal to the number one. And so what we can do is we can multiply the number we want to convert by a conversion factor. Now that doesn't change the fundamental quality of this number. All it does is changes the form of this number. So let's take a closer look at how that works. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to convert 70 inches over to centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by our conversion factor, which is really equal to the number one. So I can multiply the number 70 by the number one without changing it. And in this case, I'm multiplying it by the number one, but this number is in a very unusual form. So in this case, I know that one inch is going to be equal to exactly 2.54 centimeters. Notice that the unit I'm converting from is on the bottom of the conversion factor. And the reason that this conversion factor is set up with the unit you're converting from on the bottom is so that this unit cancels out with this unit. And then what you do is you treat these like regular fractions and then you just multiply the terms in the numerator and divide by the terms in the denominator. In this case, this will work out to be 70 times 2.54 centimeters. And when you multiply 70 by 2.54 centimeters, you get 177.8 centimeters. Now another way to think about this relationship is you can say that 70 inches is exactly equal to 177.8 centimeters. This is two different ways to represent the exact same physical length. In this case, 70 inch is exactly equal to 177.8 centimeters. Now suppose we want to go in the opposite direction. Suppose we want to convert between units of centimeters and units of inches. Then we need a different conversion factor that will take us from units of centimeters to units of inches. So starting with our unit relationship that says one inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters, what we're going to do in this case is we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 2.54 centimeters. What you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other side. And what you should see is 2.54 divided by 2.54 centimeters equals the number one. So our conversion factor, which says that one inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters, equals the number one. And now what we can do is we can take this number and multiply it by any other number without changing the value of that number. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take 177.8 centimeters, and we're going to multiply that by our conversion factor, which is really equal to the number one. And when we do that, we put 2.54 centimeters on the bottom and one inch on the top. And what you should see is that this unit of the centimeter cancels out with this unit of centimeter. Units cancel out just like real numbers do. And then what we'll do is we'll multiply the terms in the numerator and divide by the terms in the denominator. And again, we're going to go through this step more in the next video. And when we do this, we get 177.8. In this case, notice the unit of the centimeter is canceled out, and we get units of inches. And then we're going to divide that by 2.54. And again, this is a unitless number. And when we do 177.8 divided by 2.54, we get 70 inches, which is exactly what we started with. 